Hey, fast fellas. We've got ourselves a nice little fresh spawn here. And if this is kind of insane. We have four science luxuries nearby. So this is going to be pretty good for us from a science standpoint. I think I like this as well. We also have a fantastic location for an early game science campus. And then what we do is go ahead and settle in place. That'll be a nice 2-2 city. I do want us to actually start getting some food growth. I think population is more important for now. And then what we could do is eventually expand outwards. Let's first go here, I think is a safe option. And then I think a nice thing for us to do is get a scout going. Of course, we can consider a couple options here. What I think is going to make the most sense is we first need to focus on mining. And then afterwards, what we do want to do, because we have so many of these potential places that we can really get started, we do want to get a campus going. That's going to give us some nice early game science tempo and also start helping us get along that setup that we were looking for. Let's go north here. And... Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, this is incredible. Okay, so one, two, three, and four different science luxuries here <laughs> there's a science city state right here okay that's kind of cool all right this <laughs> holy crap all right hey i am not completed and targa that's oh man okay not bad not bad owls and minerva that is exactly what we are looking for so of course we're going to go into that that is critical for us perfect so they should be weakened enough for us to kill that unit. Yes. Perfect. So that went to plan. Mexico City and production. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so this this is definitely I think this is definitely looking like it's gonna be a science victory type of game. Let's go around here. Under the white cliffs of Dover. That is such a weird spot. All right, so here, wrap around the north. Atos, uh, you were not the first to meet them. Fair enough. That's okay. But it's good to know that there is another city state up here and another science city state, particularly a good one at that. I do have the option of setting up another city. I actually think setting one up here could be very good. Specifically as just a nice in-between city and also to eventually start taking tempo away from these particular city-states from growing out too far. If we can grow out into this area here, fill in some of these other tiles, we can get some really nice little campuses set up here. So I think for now, settling there will be good. That's going to give us a little bit of extra tempo. We met that boosted writing and writing is now one turn away from being complete. Let's go to that. Who's that? Just Okay, so we're going to have another spy sieve that we're going to have to fight. This is going to get spicy. <laughs> okay. And this city is going to have nine maximum housing. So we have plenty of housing space and a little bit of extra food growth. So that's good. We need to make sure we're, we're specializing our food growth. That'll help us a lot. Um, what we could do in the meantime is actually take one of these off go back to that. Give us a little bit of production. That'll bring that down to seven turns and also give us a little bit more science output. So that'll help us. All right. So we have a pretty solid campus right now. Like that I is could... going to give us the boost that we need, bringing us up to a competitive 10 science per turn. So now we're already getting more competitive about the AI in this area. This is very good. We also have a governor title available, so not a bad thing. Let's actually focus on Bingala. So of course we are going to go into our capital city. That is going to be very useful because the additional 50% yields here will help us, especially for our science. I think Divine Spark is going to be the play here. This is usually a nice little safe option that we can consider, so I, I would rather go for Divine Spark. That'll give us more great people points in the long term, and that'll really make the difference. Let's bring this unit down now. See if we can kite one of the units over. 
have the range units get attacked. The direct attack units will just obviously hit the capital, so that's fine. They'll get weakened by it, so it's not really going to be a major threat to us. Oh, it's a natural wonder right there. Uh, Singi de... Okay, so... We found a natural wonder, so we're going to go up one. Defend. Signe. Nice. So there's a natural wonder right there. That's going to get this unit almost to level two. Is there anything over here? It does not look like it. There may be something around here to the east, but let's see. Aha! Yes, so there are some civs potentially to the east here. So let's go ahead and meet them. So that way in the next era we can secure some error score. It's important that we defend, actually. Defending will get more combat strength out of. We can actually... You know what? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be better we go here. We're close enough to where they're going to get kited over anyways. We might as well get the extra defensive terrain just so we don't get hurt as badly. Sixteen science per turn. That's pretty good. We are very competitive in science, so that's very, very much needed. We do need to get that, so... Money. A strong economy begins with a strong. Take a promotion for Pingala. We have four population. I think it's time that we help upgrade our culture a little bit. Extra four culture points per turn is going to make a big difference. So we are going to make an emphasis towards that. We are going to take most likely free inquiry here. That is always a good option. Very safe option rather. Going to defend. Political philosophy, here we are. Let's get Classical Republic. That'll give us a little bit more tempo and the fact that we're going to have a third slot here. So what we do is we look for some options. And Simon Bolivar. Joe. We would love to sample your hospitality, good sir. Let's get a lot of error score from that. Boom. Up to 33 error score right there. Fantastic city to start us off with. So we will use that. What'll make sense here is that I settle a city that's going to be near enough of this area that I can develop a nice aqueduct here and then put down a good campus. So let's do that. So let's go here place down an aqueduct back here we'll put down a nice campus here and city center so that'll be a nice plus three campus that'll give us a little bit of tempo Get these research grants done so that is pretty good we do want to make sure we are getting close to picking up more of these specific libraries so the more or tempo that we can develop the better that's going to take a little while, so what we want to do is actually develop into that soon. That will be a critical thing for us. Now that we got that extra campus research grant done, we can actually consider some options. I want us to get that monument. Getting a couple extra little bits of culture per turn will help. But it's really important that we do try to get ourselves another set of cities in the left here. Because the loyalty will start being a problem. So the more that we develop this area, the less loyalty pressure issues will develop into in the later game. So now that we have that built, at least the basis of it built, that way we don't need to worry about later in the game having a higher cost of production. Or now that we don't need to worry about a higher cost of production, what we do is we consider what things we can do to get that food growth up. The more population we develop, the better, because that's going to start developing loyalty pressure. And it is very much important that we do that earlier. Mathematics has been boosted. 
Perfect. So we're going to go back to that so we can then focus on education right afterwards. As soon as we start getting more of these potential universities up and running, we're going to start seeing our science yields really start to eventually develop past the AI, and we can start getting enough great people points naturally to where it'll be easier for us to set the things up that we're looking for. We have a couple governor titles available, so this is actually really good for us. Since we have two available, what we can consider here is that we can actually go one into researcher and one into grants if we want to double up. So let's do that. Start really doubling down here on the setup. It's going to give us some really fantastic yields and that will make a positive difference in the long term. Getting recorded history would be a good thing for us. That's going to give us a lot of tempo, particularly with these campuses having better adjacency bonuses. Oh, we met Bandar Brunei. Okay, that's good. Let's use this great merchant to pick up that tile, and then we're eventually going to consider sending them northwest. And let's do a little bit of planning here. I'm actually pretty much going to target the Oxford University. Free inquiry, I would say, is probably the safest option. Don't worry about the loyalty in this city. That city is not going to have loyalty issues forever. We just have to keep getting population. Of course, uh, it looks like Sweden did get a golden age. All right, so we did actually have a successful tech boost that we stole. That's fantastic. And it also means we should be getting a level up with that particular spy. So awesome. Off to a good start with our spy. This uh, great scientist, not really a major priority, but we are going to actually be focusing on what our average great scientist points per turn are. And so far, we're actually pretty competitive. Us and one other sieve are about 11.5 per turn. I'm thinking I'm going to take Demolition. That's going to be a pretty good option in the mid to late game, as more sieves will be eventually producing industrial zones. So... That is going to be good for us. And then taking a look here, we're going to go into chemistry is going to be our goal because we do want to eventually set up some research labs. Those will be absolutely fantastic for us because once we develop more and more of our envoys for our city states, all of our science yields will start to really get higher. So our empire is looking pretty good here. I think we're in a very good spot. And that being said, I would like to ask you to subscribe and also like and comment for more content. If you enjoyed watching this content, I've got another video in the top left part of the screen. Go ahead and check that one out and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Speed D-Man out.